guys, don't forget to subscribe to Techie Zargar and press the bell icon and never miss an update from Techie Zargar. Hello friends, so I am with my another video, really quick and short video. In this video, we will learn to how to create this step case animation in Wonderway in SCADA and Touch. As you are seeing on your desktop, we will create this step case animation in Wonderway SCADA and Touch in the next few minutes. So you remain stay tuned and let's get started. So friends, first of all, all you need to do is install the Wonderware SCADA in touch uh, in your desktop or in your laptops. So then all you need to do is just go to file, new window and create a new window. As I have already created a new window here, as you can see the step case I have named the window. So next you need to do is go in this uh, box from here and click this one line as you are going to cringe the step case first for the box that you are going to animate then create an step case Now as you can see I have created the step case here just next to next thing you need to do is go in this line here and click this one so that you know this is okay so that the line becomes a little thick so that you can wave the step step case is step case easily so now all you need to do is grab an rectangle from here and draw and really small rectangle not that much big okay so here you can change the color of this box from here fill color option okay i don't need to change the color as it's really fine okay now then you need to go from into wizards and grab a slider a vertical slider and put its range from 0 to 100 and then uh, name give it a tag like i will get s1 Okay, you need to define the S1 which it will automatically take as memory real here and save it close it okay and then now double click on the box and go into the orientation option and then you need to give the expression here uh, that's uh, of the vertical slider S1 okay so now you need to do you need to tell him that this actually is the value of slider from 0 to 20 but our slider is from 0 to 100 so as we need to draw the animation of this step case from 0 to 100 so for the first step case we will draw the animation or the value will be from 0 to 10 so that the box will go from one's first step to second so we will give it 0 to 10 and so on to 100 as it goes uh, in the next steps 0 to 10 okay so here it means counterclockwise rotation and CW means count clockwise rotation as you need to do the clockwise rotation as box needs to go from this to this and this here is then angle you need to give how much angle uh, the you are at what angle you want to rotate the box as I want to rotate the box at 180 because the box is going from this side to this which creates an 180 angle so I will give it an 180 as you are seeing here so next comes the position position is really important here as which describes you at what point you want to orient, orient the box or any other um, thing you want to animate so as I want to animate the box from this point so you need to know that the coordinates of the box is same as the coordinates xy coordinates you use in the mathematics so that means on the left hand side is the minus x right hand side is the positive x and in the downwards is the uh, positive y and on the upper side is the minus y okay so minus y axis so uh, now you need to know the width and the height of the box which you can see from here it's 80 and 60 so the as you need to 
uh, orient the box from this point you will go into the orientation and here it shows the y position as you can see the height of the box is 60 so the y position will be uh, height divided by 2 uh, so which will be 30 so but as I am uh, orienting it from this point so it will be minus 30 as in this side the x uh, the uh, y axis is minus okay so if you want to orient it from this point it will be positive x because downwards the y axis is positive okay so the it will be minus 30 and add and as the x position is 40 so it will be uh, 80 the width of the uh, box is 40 the x position will be 40 as the x position is determined by width divided by 2 so it will be 40 so as the box is going to be oriented from this and the x axis is here positive so it will be 40 so 40 and 30 and x1 is the expression it should go from 0 to 10 and the angle is 180 degree and let's go to the development runtime now and see what happens and here you see the box goes from this step case to this step case but as you see the it overlaps on the staircase so we will just move the staircase a little bit right a little bit up no it goes a little okay from here you can off the grid section so that it can it will not go that much okay now it's fine go to runtime okay here it is no it's a uh, little more right little more okay now it's fine so as you can see the box has gone from this to this now as we have apply applied the orientation uh, animation and orientation option on the this box now you can't reapply on this so you need to create and duplicate of it and put it here okay the orientation will remain same but only the values will change it will go from 10 see okay but as you can see it sh we have to keep its value from 10 to 20 because 0 to 10 is the first box and then 10 to 20 is the second box okay the or in the positions will remain same no change in that so as you can see first this box but we need to enable the another option that's visibility the visibility of the first box will be from S1 greater than equal to 0 and S1 less than equal to 10. Okay, and okay, and then for the next box it will be S1 greater than equal to 10 and S1 less than equal to 20 okay and okay then we will go into the runtime and now you see the box goes from this to this okay So now we will need to create an another duplicate box which will remain here and its orientation will remain same but it will go from 20 to 30 and the visibility will also change it will grow from greater than equal to 20 and less than equal to 30 okay 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 now you can see so now our next is that put the duplicate here and now the value will be from 30 to 40 and the orientation will remain same but here the values will go 30 to 40 but 
here we need to change the xy position now because we are orienting this box from because it's going down now so we are orienting this box from this point so nothing will change only the sign of the y will change to go positive 230 and it will go okay and okay okay you see here so now we will create another duplicate box which will go on this side and the orientation will remain same visibility will go from 40 to 50 and another duplicate box whose visibility will go from yeah sure 50 to 60 okay then we will create another duplicate box whose visibility will go from 60 to 70 okay now we are done with it so let's let's just grab our staircase animation okay now but as you see but we okay we need, don't need this last box here sorry for the mistake okay, we did something wrong here orientation is fine 30 to 50 s1 what's the visibility the visibility should be from one minute one second set the visibility is from 40 to 50 then what's wrong with him? Why is he not orienting properly? Okay, let me check this more. Okay, this is fine. Something is wrong here. Okay, let me check the visibility is from 30 to 40. Okay, so this should be from 40 to 50. Fine. So what is the problem behind it? Some kind of problem. Orientation 180 S1. Okay, sorry, we are not in its values. Sorry for the mistake. Really, really sorry for that. Okay, here yeah, we should go from 50 to 60. Okay, and okay, now it will work fine. Okay, so here you see your animation is working fine. So, as you see, you are not able to see the proper staircase how it's going up and down. So, we will create and okay we will change the for as our animation is up to only 70 so we will change its value from 70 okay now let me check once no it's up to 60 only so keep it up to 60 click ok and then you need to go to window scripts if s1 is greater than equal to 0 and S1 is less than equal to 60 then S1 equals to S1 plus 1 and if and give some milliseconds of 10 here time okay, 21 is more click ok and here you see it's automatically working okay but as you know see that the slider has reached 60 it stops so you need to recontinue the animation for that you just need to go to window scripts again write if s1 is greater than 60 then s1 equals to 0 and if Okay, 
and now see the magic the animation will replay on its own so this is how you can create a staircase animation uh, in the SCADA Wonder Way in touch and if you like this video don't forget to share this video like this video and subscribe to my channel hello everyone this is your brother Munim for the latest news and tech updates follow me on Instagram subscribe me on YouTube Salam.